Oh, hello everybody, it's Bella here from Rachel and Bella Crafts. I'll pull my chair in this time. Uh, I hope you're all well and um, having a lovely day. I've had a busy day today. We've been off uh, to Abergavenny today. Those of you that have been on the retreat will know where Abergavenny is. Um, yes, and I went to buy some more of my batting, which is very much like felt, but is quite thick. It, you could use it as felt, but I use it in those bags that I made, those little boxes, these. So I've been using that in there. And I'd run out, because that was a little bit floppy. But anyway, and I've also called in my Rachel's today and dropped her little uh, box off. So, yesterday, I do apologise, I did carry on because I was so excited with this kit. I tell you, I haven't slept much last night because my brain was just on overload. These, this, uh, Rachel did her show and tell of her kit and it was blowing my, my mind. It was just blowing my head off. So now I'm too tired to even think, isn't it ridiculous when you can't sleep because you're so excited. But anyway, that's what I'd done fortunately before, after I'd finished the video yesterday, I, I was carried on and I went round, let me just show you. I went round and I did stitching around the edge here of these shapes. I've done some there, not all the way round, but I've just done some. Put more crosses on there. I've gone down here and down there and across there. Put some crosses down here, different shapes. And I've gone down this shape here with the green, which I love. And um, what else did I do? You saw saw me do that. I'm not sure whether you saw me do this bit. I think I did this while I was watching TV last evening or listening because I was busy doing this. And um, I th you saw me do those, I believe, and that one. And you saw me doing those. So that's as far as I've got so far, apart from the flower. Now, I was going to show you how I did the flower because I know you're all going to say to me, well, that's OK now, Bella, but what did you do? So on here, let me take that back off a minute. On here, look, I cut out the shapes and I used the skirt that I bought, this skirt, and there's the zip. You can see it was a skirt and it's beautiful linen, beautiful. And I've cut out shapes from the bits and pieces, the smaller pieces that I had left over when I was cutting things out. And it was ideal for these leaves. And then what I did then, I glued it on with the uh, PVA. The the, no, I did this afterwards. I did this one first. I'm going before myself. So what I did, I had this, one of these, I had two squares, which I'm not going to cut up now because I need this square. Turned it over because I didn't want the pattern on there. So anything will do. And if you've got a nice thick piece of material with sort of cream on the back, but it depends what you're putting it on top of, doesn't it? So that's entirely up to you. It could be a check or something, couldn't it? So then I thought, right, let's have a go at drawing this. So I got my pen. Any pen will do. If you want a friction pen, that will be even better because then you can just iron it off. Um, this was the first one I did and I cut it out. I made a mistake and I did actually. So it started off like this. I drew that onto there, then I cut it out, and then I realised that I needed to stitch it, and I didn't want to stitch it through that. So I'm going to put that on there so I've got something to hold, so I can show you what I did, if you need me to show you what I did. Let me just pull my sleeves up a little bit. There we are, getting hot. So I drew that. And I cut those out individually. So I cut that bit out there and then I cut out some leaves. And then later on, I'm going to join them up with some stitching with this, I think with this. So that will join the leaves onto the stem. All right. But what I did first of all, see the black in here? I kept the black and all I did was just straight stitches. And I'll show you because I'm all threaded up ready. I started in the middle, but you can start wherever you like. Okay. 
and I think just to save on cotton thread I'm going to come back up the same side and I just did rows and rows and rows like this only that one was a bit smaller so so I went across and I did that and I left some gaps and then I went back over it then where the gaps were okay that's what they tell you to do I don't know you can just go you can just join them straight up if you want to but that's the way I did it I'm just showing you what I did okay and just keep going back and forth back and forth and if you wanted it to be raised you know sort of like this then you could go over the top the other way do you understand what I mean so I'm just going to do a smaller stitch here now for the edge of the circle so you need to bring it in a bit there okay it doesn't and if you want a small stitch there you can do a small stitch there uh, a little bit further there we go so that was all I did on that and then I came back and filled in any gaps and you could just keep going and building it up and building it up it depends how um, pronounced you want it you know so that's that and see it's coming I mean, I can go back there and fill that bit in there if I wanted to. And just go back and fill it in. So that's what I did there. I'm not going to do it all. Because you're getting the idea, I hope. And just keep filling it in. And where you, where you get the shape isn't quite correct. Just put another stitch. Long, short, it doesn't matter. Okay. And then... I'll go back there and fill that one in. And that's the way I've done it. There we are. And just, just keep, let me take that out. Just keep filling it in until you get rid of all the white underneath. It won't take you long. And you'll, you'll see where the gaps are. Okay. There. All right. So that's... That's what I did in the middle there. I won't do any more. Um, I think I'll just cut off a bit there and leave that. And then I'll show you then how I did this bit round here. You probably don't need me to show you, but I'm going to anyway. Now, what I did, I started off in the middle. It's all right, I've got a knot on my thread. There. And I did little stitches all the way around like this. It'll take you a little minute and go up, keep onto the lines because it is a pen and it won't come off unless you've used a friction pen. Okay. Now I'm doing a back stitch because I want to join them up. So I'm doing it slowly so you can see what I'm doing. And I'm trying to cover the line up so because I know it is pen. Oops, I'm going to take that out. I knew I'd do that. There you go. The lady I was telling you about yesterday, because I forgot to put it in the... Um, 
description box was gone, G-O-N-E, gone, rustic, two separate words. And she is so talented. Now, if, if you like earthy things, I'm going to go over here now, look, so I'm not wasting any, um, I've jumped from there to here, I'm trying to see where the pen is. If you like earthy things like K3N, um, then you're going to love her work. She's been doing it for a long, long time. And um, I just came across her work. You know, in the feed, it comes up sometimes, doesn't it? So go go over and have a look if you... Um, I'm doing these a bit bigger now because I'm rushing. But you get the idea. Join up, join them up. Go back to the first stitch. Try and keep them as small as you can, though. Depends whether you want them really small or you could have them like that. That's That's quite a nice stitch, actually. And you can vary a bit and, and it makes it look more realistic, doesn't it? There we go. Got rid of that. One more. I don't want to go in the black. I'm trying to find the line. There it is. You could even put this in a hoop if you wanted to. If it makes it easier for you. But it would be easier if you did it on a piece that was fairly thick like this. And then you wouldn't have all this. Oh, golly, look what I've done. Do you know what? I think I'm going around the bend. Now, what? how hysterical is that? <laughs> oh, dear. Honestly, I'm, I'm getting worried about myself. I really am. I'm doing the daftest things. Well, I've done it now, haven't I? Now, I either have to unpick it all or leave it as it is. It's going to have three layers now. What a scream. I told you I was tired, didn't I? Rachel's fault for getting me all excited. The excitement's gone now because I'm tired. Anyway, you're getting the idea. And I'll jump from... I'll finish that one off and then I'll... I'll go round, round the edge there and show you what I did. It's exactly the same. Yeah, that one goes all the way up there, look. So you've got to keep an eye on what you're doing. But you may uh, draw a different flower. Or you may just cut out one of the flowers that Rachel has um, done, which are beautiful. And... Um, just decide to do it on paper. You could do exactly the same thing on paper. There we go. See? Now what I'm going to do now, I'm going to come up here. And I'm going to go inside a little bit. Now you could just, I think what I'll do for, for now, I'll just tack it. You could just um, do the back stitch, carry on doing the back stitch. Or you can do it like this, whichever you find the easiest. That looks quite nice, actually. You could cover the whole thing in with long stitches if you wanted to, and then go over with a darker color for the stamens. I think that's what they're meant to be. I'm not sure. I mean, that looks quite nice, doesn't it? And the other thing I thought of, too, was if you had um, a plain background, you could paint these. You could go in with some... You could either use the uh, watercolour um, pencils and go in and draw it and then paint over it, or you can use watercolour pencil uh, paints. You could paint it with watercolour paints. You could paint them gold you could do all kinds of things with them and i think i'm going to be putting some of these in my journal because that's what i like to do i'm going to go up there like that because 
we've got this stamen or this line coming up here, which I want to make. Um, that one there actually was just one length there. Actually, I did actually, I didn't do this. I did just one length, one long one like I've done here. So you can do either actually, either or. So there's many ways that you could stitch this down. You'll have your own ideas, I'm sure. So there we are, I'm just giving you that idea, look. And then, so I've done the reverse there. And then if I go all the way around, colour all that in, and then I'll show you that um, again when I finish it. All right. So let's put that. Fancy going on there. There's a screen. So that was that I was going to show you. And I was going to do some more white on here. Where was I going to do it? Let me see. There was a couple of shapes I found that I wanted to... Oh, I know, it was these circles it was. And I wanted to go round just doing some straight stitches on these lovely shapes. So this is doodling with, with your thread, okay? You can make your stitches small, you can make them big. You can do them however you want. Just follow the shapes that you have on your material. Or you could collage, you could cut out shapes, you could do triangles, circles, squares, and put them on top of plain uh, material. If you haven't got anything jazzy, just mix your colours up and then, then paint on it or draw first. Then you can... Um, Go in with your threads. Okay. There's lots to do. Lots. I think I'm going to go up there. Make some weird shapes, I think. I just love odd shapes. I love that bit by there. Right, and I'm going to go around and make a spiral, I think. See if I can do that. So I'm not following any line at the moment. I'm just making my own doodle. Okay. And I don't think it's going to be round either. That does make that a little bit stiffer, but that's okay because you need some support on the front of your journal anyway. I don't want it too floppy. So I've been printing off some of Rachel's kit onto fabric and wondering what I was going to use for the inside. But this is quite, quite floppy, you know? Isn't this fun? You have got to move around, move it around a bit. So sorry about that. I was doing this in my sleep because it was such fun. Wore myself out. I hope you'll all have a go at this. It's quite addictive, you know. Let me see, I think I'll do just one more there, I think. Let's have a look at that. Yeah, that's cool. I like that. What do you think? Yeah. There we go. That's that one. And while I'm doing it in threes, I think I will do... What shall I do here? Start here, shall we? Just make like a jigsaw.
Oh, I did buy some more material, <laughs> as if I needed material. But I needed um, linings for my boxes that I'm making. They're really handy, these boxes, you know. These fabric boxes that I've been making. Rachel was thrilled with hers. She put her uh, pearly straight in them. But I'm going to make them... Um, they were six by six squares, but I'm going to make them eight by eight because when you put a pile of these in the bag, they're overflowing a bit. So but they are useful. And I enjoyed making them once I've worked it out. I don't want to make another spiral, so I think I'm going to come up here. Just make some lines, just making marks, okay? So there's number six there, now look. That'll do. Let's turn it round. Have a look. Yep, yeah, number six, that'll do. So there we are. So that'll give you some more ideas. I, I'm thinking about what I can put on here. I did print off some of Rachel's um, squiggly things, but I really should have made this the background darker. There are darker ones, so make sure you look at everything on, on the... Um, in the kit but that's that's too big and i don't like that shape so i'm just wondering what i need to make an odd shape to go in there don't i so i'm just working that out in my head what else did i have i had others somewhere and i did print off these this is on fabric I don't know why it didn't come out as bright as it should have done, so I'm going to have to look at my comp my printer. But I think these are lovely. So this is on fabric. So if I wanted to, I could put this on batting, and then I could um, go around and stitch those. That would be lovely, wouldn't it? Because I was wondering whether to use and, and that one I printed. So that's on fabric as well. These are on fabric. But I wish I'd done... They're too bright, look. I know we got white in there, but it's, it looks different. So the other thing I thought of doing was using these um, letters that we bought. Says she, where have she put them? Oh, they're up there. I haven't used them yet. Uh, Rachel was showing them again because uh, Angela Kerr did, did them on her channel when she was doing the garden story. I can't even open them. I must cut the top off. And they are... Oh. I'm in trouble today, aren't I? Never mind. We'll get there. And the letters are quite big once you start... Um, now I'm going to have to make a pouch for these, aren't I? And they all connect, look. I'm sure you've seen these before. So here's your letters. So the letters are quite um, quite big. They're not tiny ones. So that's the A, and I think that went on there, I think. Like so. Or have I got that upside down? Yes. No. No. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I've done. That's the thing. And once you take them apart, that's it. You've had it. But you've got you've got the back here, look. So you've got A, B, C, D and whatever. So I don't know what I've done there. Maybe. And they, they come apart like this. They're great fun. And you can make your word up. Um... So they come apart and they 
and you click in those holes there, look. I'll just do the word, a small word of, but once they're apart, you won't get them back. <laughs> the way, there, there's and. So you just stamp the bottom and you've got a lot to grip. So it's, it's nice and, so we're gonna, I'm gonna decide whether or not I would do some words on here, but I think I'll do it on something darker than this because that really is too bright, much too bright. So I, I can either print, print out the darker colour. Now let me get rid of all this plastic. Isn't plastic a nuisance? Can't get rid of it, can you? What's the trouble? So yes, these are brilliant. So I'm looking forward to using those. So watch this space for that next. So I just came on to show you the flower mainly. Um, golly, where's the, oh, there they are. Maybe it goes that in, no. I'm getting confused now. There we go. So that's the word and. So I'll leave it like that for now. And then you can see how lovely they are. But they're really nicely, um, nice and strong. So I shall be using those later when I'm sitting here quiet. And um, and the reason I, I, I don't know whether I said this, the reason I did actually glue that on was to stop all this fraying back too far. Okay. And the other thing I was going to do, I was going to use this to join the stems up there. That was the other thing. So I'm gonna leave it there. So that was that. Okay, so I hope you get the gist of that. So I'll hold it up a bit closer so you can actually see the flower because I've stitched it onto there now. I'm gonna to have to unpick all that now, aren't I? But there we are. <laughs> I should have left it till tomorrow and then I would have probably made a different mistake because every video I make I make a mistake but I'm not bothered because I always rectify it so there you go there's some ideas for you and I should be thinking about some more before I continue making my um cover okay and I shall see you again thanks for watching and take care everybody bye for now